on the water has been brought to you by Here we are at the Southern 80, Australia's biggest water ski event. It is recognised throughout the world. We have competitors as far away as Britain, the US, Sweden and of course our own local talent. We're at the historic port of Echuca, once Australia's largest inland trading port. But we are mostly interested in the 80 kilometres from Turumbury to Echuca. To have a look at these boats in the top classes running 126 bends at up to 170 kilometres an hour with two blokes hanging onto ropes in the back of these things. This is absolutely fantastic. The crowd of Echuca and the population swells to some 80,000 people during the course of this Southern 80 weekend. So strap on your life jacket and check this out. Munro from Concord Park Racing. Steve, what class are you in firstly? Uh, smock. Uh, we've done uh, smock social this morning and um, yeah, we've had a pretty good run. Right, eh? what's smock mean? Standard motor open cockpit. Right, eh? the open cockpit means you get plenty of breeze in there. She in the social plenty classes. Yes, plenty of breeze. There's not um, yeah, no, she's nice, nicely breezed, yes. Oh beautiful yeah. mate. In the social classes, mate, how how'd you go in the run anyway? Oh look we yeah, we come uh, middle of the pack. We're um, we're not out here to win it. We break records, break necks. We're uh, just out here to give the boys a good run and make sure they get their start and get to the finish line. No mishaps. Oh, that's the way you want it, mate. Yeah. And a couple of frosties to watch the big boys come through a bit later. Oh, I'd like to think I could, but I've got to run the uh, sub junior expert with my boy. So that's uh, for the full eighty. So uh, the beer's going to have to wait until about five thirty, I think, six o'clock. All right. Well, I'll see you uh, at the debriefing area then. No worries, caveman. Make sure you got a beer for me. Not a problem, mate. No Thanks, Steve. All the best. Uh, here we've got Kev. He's actually the observer from Gasser Racing Team. However, he has done a lot of skiing. Tell us a bit about the skis, Kev. Yeah, what these skis are, the boys use behind us. They're Maharaja skis. Um, they're seven foot long. As you can see, they're nearly two inches thick. They're, uh, they actually come into their own, probably on the rough water, but the boys seem to manage them on the smooth really well. They're, uh, the bindings are about $500 for them and the, the ski itself is between $1,500 and $2,000. Um, it's a vital part to the team because they really need to hold it. They, they probably don't start working to about 70 mile an hour and then they come into their own, they lift themselves off the water and then they boogie. It, it's a real art to be able to steer one of these things because uh, they are hard to get around a corner, I'll tell you that now.
Oh, beauty, I'm looking forward to that. Now, uh, tell us about the rope. Is there any specific length that you need that you're required to have, or what's the go with that? Um, yeah, we go uh, all over Australia, and different courses require different lengths of rope. I, here at Echuca, where it's a little bit tighter, they run probably about 260 foot of rope. What that does then, it gets them out of the, the rooster of the, uh, the boat because when you're up over 105, 110 mile an hour, the, the boat just shoots off water like missiles, like bullets at them. So what it does, it also gets them round the corner a bit and they be able to, they settle themselves up the straight, They're not get, they get a bit of a rest on the corner. So yeah, that's why the longer the rope, the better. A skier always asks for more rope, but uh, it doesn't also help the handling of the boat either. Um, but then when we go to uh, Rombo and Mildura, we'll probably go out to about 280, maybe 290, where there's big long straights where we don't have to worry about the corners too much. And um, yeah, they, yeah, they like it there. You know, the longer the better, they reckon. Well, as an observer, mate, you'd need a pair of big eyes or binoculars to see what they're doing at 280 feet of rope. Uh, yeah, you do, actually, but uh, if they want to go, uh, any call they give you, they certainly let you know. If it, they want to go up, they get the bigger adrenaline going. They actually will uh, scream for more. You can nearly hear them, but, uh, and also you can see the whites of their eyes popping out the goggles when they want to call down, I'll tell you that too. <laughs> I'll bet. Good on you, Kev. Thanks, mate. Yeah, thanks, Kate. We are with Brett Deminx from the Blown Budget Ski Race Team. Brett's one of the skiers that hang on at some breakneck speeds. Mate, how's the boat going after the Baker's Blitz? Yeah, really nice, really nice. Need, need a couple more horses, but um, nothing we can't find in the boat, and we'll, you know, she'll come along all right in the end. Right, how's your preparation been up to this point? Um, we were sort of flying blind coming into this race. You know, we hadn't had the right preparation and all that sort of stuff. You know, we hadn't had the test out, in the, out on the real course. You know, it all it all shows itself out there. That's the real deal. Yeah. So you know, we we learned a lot today. So we, we'll have a lot more in us tomorrow. Beauty. So where are you off? Uh, what position are you starting at tomorrow? I think we're starting off about seventh at this stage. Yep. A um, little bit of traffic in front of us, but nothing we can't contend with. And hopefully, you know, everyone has a nice clean race, and we all get to post our best time. So you've got the computer blokes, I see the mechanics working in the background here, or they've actually just taken off now that we've got the microphone and the camera off. Mate, they're out there. <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> in case something goes wrong tomorrow, who wants to get the blame? Yeah, especially when we've got it on camera, <laughs> mate, just video. to prove it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, mate, good luck tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you at the end of it for a cold one. No, we certainly will. Thanks, Kate, man. <laughs> on the Water has been brought to you by... Thank you.